Hey guys, it's Sam and <laughs> going to do our KiwiCo box called the Astronaut Starter Kit. Again, these things come with everything you need. Sometimes you have to add a few things that you should have around your home anyway, like water, or napkins, or tape, scissors, those sorts of things. But the main stuff comes in these boxes. So let's open it up. So we have a guide to being an astronaut. So in this box, what do we get to do? You will build a model of the solar system, discover the history of space travel, visit the International Space Station, find out which planets are giant balls of gas, and launch a space shuttle. What's behind there? We'll find out. So it comes with this <clears throat> guidebook. Hold on, we'll see. I'm we're, looking. We're unboxing this so if I can see what's in it. Comes with this guidebook. Shows you everything you need to do for this book, for this uh, box. So it starts off, tells you what an astronaut is. Go through this cute little book. It has history about the past for space travel. You get to learn what it's like to work on the International Space Station. Uh, how do you make the space station? Well, we'll find out. Then you have some fun facts to learn about. And then how to become an astronaut. Daddy, I want to be an astronaut. <laughs> That's our guide. The next thing hey, we have is a place. poster. I'm going to put that on my door. You're going to put it on your door? So it's a solar system. Of course, it shows you all your planets. The distance from the sun, a little fact about each planet. one. Our planet. What's our planet? Earth. Do you know the other planets? Yeah. Let's see if you can remember. Yeah. The, the, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Yay! Which one's missing? And Pluto. It was mommy's favorite when she was a kid, right? <laughs> then. You have our first activity to do is, hold on, is the um, solar system. So we're going to build our own solar system. We'll be building a stand and then assembling our solar system. It's like a fun thing. And then we have this. Which is? Which is we you make your own rocket ship. The shuttle launch. The shuttle okay. launch. So we get to make our own shuttle launch. Okay. So in this video, we're going to start with our solar system, building it. Hey. Yes. And so let's get started. Here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. Our first step in this whole thing is we're going to build the stand. So what we'll need, let's look in our box here and see what all we have. Let's see. Was. We need the platform which looks like this whole thing. So in this bag, you just opened. Can I Get rid of all the mind? trash. You can hold this up. It's the platform, so what it looks like. Then we also have, okay, thick black foam, which has like squares and circles in it. Hold on, we don't need that. No, we don't, uh, not yet. The double stick uh, foam. The platform. The base, which looks like this might have got a little bent in the box. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Hopefully not. Oh yeah. Uh, and then we have a hole, a black ring. Let's find our black ring. These little there's two little black rings in this. We're going to lay the platform with the lined side facing down. Then we're going to stick a thick black foam circle onto each corner. You stick yep. it. You stick okay, it. Okay, just give me those. Yep. We're using the circle ones in each corner. How many do just you apply need? It there. Four. We have four corners in a square, right? That one just fell off. That one just fell off. That one. And one more. Yep. One, two, three, and four. You 
see my eye. <laughs> Look. <Yeah. laughs> so we have those on. Then we're going to flip the platform over and stick a double stick foam circle, which are these white ones, uh, onto each of the outlined dots. It has, hold on, has circles on each of these little corners in the middle. We're gonna put one on each one. These circles, we're gonna do four. I'm gonna stick those on, yep. And these are double-sided, so you just want to take it off of the sticker sheet and leave one side um, on so that it doesn't stick to everything. Okay. We got those. Peel the backing off of the circles. So we're gonna peel the paper off, yeah. I'm gonna do this one. Yep. And do that one over there. No, you do that one. You do the same one, then you do this one. Okay. So we got those. Mm -mm. Then we're going to line up the base over the outline on the wood. Can I have And this? stick it down. So we gotta line it up. Is it lined up up there? Yeah. Lined up pretty good. Voila, it's stuck on, it's not falling off. Slide a black ring a little way up the pole. Get the pole, so it's about an inch. So we'll just get one of these rings out. Slide it on the pole. It's about right. Slide the other end of the pole. So the end without the ring, you're gonna hold the end with the ring. Hold that end. Slide the other end of the pole up through the hole under the platform and out the hole at the top of the base. So put it in there. They said. Put it up here. No, put that there. Put it all the way up through the hole. Oh, keep going. There you go. Push the base down so it rests on the work surface. So we're gonna do, there we go. The ring will slide down the pole to help hold it in place. And we have finished our base. We're going to add spinners and paint the planets. So what you'll need, yep, hold that up. You'll need a thick black foam, some spacers, and some the double stick foam. And some Hold on. The spinners, the sticks, and the white balls. And then it says from home you'll need a push pin because these have little holes in the middle of squares that you have to make sure you um, have the sticker pushed out of. So you have a clear opening. Step one grab a thick black foam square. Can you give me one of the squares? Check to make sure the hole is punched through, which we did. Then stick the square over the light gray section on the end of a spinner. So we're going to start, the spinner is mercury. So we're going to stick it on the light gray section. You want to take the sticker off for me? Mm -hmm. And then put it on this light gray section. Line it up good. Then you're going to put foam on the rest of the spinners the same way, on the light gray squares. So we'll do all of those and be right back. Okay, we're back. We finished all of our planets with the squares. Now it says, step two, grab a double stick foam. Which one? Which is the white, the double stick one. Which kind? The double stick rectangles. This one? Yep, those are rectangles, right? Punch out the hole. How many? Use those spacers. Give me one to start with. Put it over there with our trash. Okay. And stick the rectangle on top of the spacer, which are these. Buttons. And this, they're like plastic. Perfect. Yep, stick it on top of there. 
you gotta match it, see? It's a rectangle, so you gotta make sure it's on there good. The spacer ring should poke through the hole, which we did. So you can see it on top. Yeah. Okay. Peel the backing off the foam rectangle, which is step three. Hold the spinner, which are, we have our planets named on it. So the writing and thick foam square face up. So the writing, thick, this way. thick foam square face up and stick it onto the spacer. On the back? So put the spacer down and you're going to stick this on top. Hey, let me. Let's see, let me show them first. Got the sticker on top, the writing, other thick foam on top. Just gonna stick it through the hole, press down, burn. There we go. Step four, repeat steps two and three to connect the rest of the spacers to spinners. You should have eight. So we're gonna do that and be right back. We're back and she's finishing up the last of our um, spinners and spacers, putting them together. We have one more. Yep. We have finished up all of our spinners and uh, spacers for steps two, three, and four. So then step five, we're going to lay the black sticks out in order from the shortest to the longest. The tip should be in this color order. So here's our sticks that they're talking about. They're in a bag. They're black. They have um, colors on them and the ends. Let's get them out of the bag. Do they color? They're color, they're colors. Yeah. Well, let's see. And they want us to lay out the sticks from the shortest to the longest, starting with red. So, can you put them in the rainbow order? Yeah. What's the rainbow order? Oh, red's at the top. This one's so long. You have a light green and then the dark green. Yep. Green. Because you're going shortest to longest. Green. Then blue. Blue. Purple and white is the longest. Purple. Purple looks like the shortest. It's not. Okay. Put it up there. Put it underneath blue. And then step six. Poke each stick in a ball, which let's see here. Grab a pack of these white balls. Poke each stick in a ball of the correct size. Push the stick in as far as it will go without poking out the other side. Check to make sure each ball is on the right stick. Let me show. See, these already have holes in them, if you can see. Yeah, there's a hole on that side and a hole on the other side. You want to poke it. In through one, but not out the other. So put it in one side, but don't, you push it all the way in, but don't let it come out the other side. So the red has a small, the orange has medium, yellow has medium, the light green has a small, the dark green has a giant one, the blue has a giant, the purple has a large, and the white has a large. So let's see. So take it all the way, yep. So you want it to go all the way, just not through. And see, it has a poke through, but it's all the way to the end. So we're gonna do that for each of our sticks with the correct size ball, this according one? to the pictures, and then we'll be right back. Hey guys, it may help a little bit if I show you. So this is the small. Oh no. This is the medium. Oh no. Hold on. This is the large, it's a little bit bigger than the medium. And then this is the giant. Just so that you know what we mean by the red is the small, the orange is the medium, and so forth and so on. So let's finish these and then we'll be right back. finish these. As you can see, we put the white balls on all of the colored sticks. That was step six. You done that. Push the other end of each stick into the spinner marked with the planet name listed here. So the red stick, of course, goes on the mercury. So we're gonna stick it in the hole in the thick foam square that you put on the gray side. Let me have it. So put it in there. Uh, Push it in there. Oh no. Oh no, 
with this These camera. colors should match. The red circle here should match the red stick there. Oh, and then if you hold your finger on the end here to cover up the hole, it won't go through when you push it. We're back and as you can see, we have finished assembling these. Again, the color that was on the end of the stick matches the color of the circle here. And then you have your planets in order. What <laughs> So then the next thing to do would be to paint the planets. So that's what we are going to do now. Which one goes first? So, to paint the planets, you'll need the spinners with the balls and sticks, which we've already got, <laughs> the mess mat, comes with paint, and it came with the paintbrush. So then the only things you need from home is a cup of water and some paper towels. So we'll get that here in just a second. I love painting. You like arts and crafts. So step one, we're going to spread the mess mat to protect your work, your work surface. Grab the paints and paintbrush. So let's open up your paint. So we got the paints, the paintbrush, and then I'm gonna go get a cup of water and some paper towels, and then I will be back for the Thank next step. You. Back, we got our paper towels, our cup of water. So step two says pull one of the sticks off of its spinner and paint the ball to represent that planet. Hold the stick as you paint. So I want the large one. Okay, so then let's take the giant one from Saturn. Can hold this in your hand with your left hand because you're right-handed then you paint with your other hand. painting tips refer to the poster for guidance about each planet's coloring because you want to try to get it as close to realistic as possible so that it actually looks this like our solar my system dominant side. mix and layer the paints to get every color you need use the water and paper towel to clean your brush between colors and then so once you paint we're going to um, paint one and then we'll stop and then come back and show you our finished planet. And then step three, as you finish each planet, stand it back up in its spinner to dry. Wait about 30 minutes for the paint to dry and then you'll be good to go. So let's go ahead and start painting our planets. We have Saturn. So let's look at our poster. Pull it out. What color is Saturn on here? It has rings made of dust, rocks, and chunks of ice. So, what colors do you see? Brown. Yeah? Brown, light brown, so let's dark do... brown, white, and pink, and orange, and red, and yellow, <laughs> and blue, and... So, let's green, take some brown. Light. Paint what? it brown. Light brown. We'll just paint it brown. The paint. whole entire thing, Yep. Right? You paint that brown. You may do one, Mommy. I will do one. So while we finish painting these, we'll stop and then we'll be right back. We are back and finished painting our planets. We have all of them here. Hey, let me show mine, okay? We're finished with the painting and that's all for this video. We will come back for another video on assembling the solar system.